Is that cool yet? <clears throat> my brother tells me that I need moving things in my video as a distraction to keep people's brains uh, enticed. I didn't do it for that reason, though. I just like the effect. <clears throat> I realized um, it's hard for me to relax into myself when I'm around other people. So everything in relation is uncomfortable for me. <clears throat> and then I had uh, the silence of the self. other things to be uncomfortable about. And eventually I realized just being is uncomfortable. It's not anyone else, anything else. It's just the, pr the energy friction, the pressure, the connectedness. So we just had the Cancer Full Moon yesterday. Just went through the solstice, winter solstice in the northern hemisphere. Merry Christmas. Happy everything. <clears throat> I don't like this time of year that much, actually. Energetically, I'm down. The weight is more noticeable. I understand what Capricorn is. To me, it's not a mountain goat. It's a. Uh, it's being buried alive under the reflection of your own objectifications between the self and this world. And how we systemize internally, we organize and construct mountains over these emotional charges we hold. Some of us are climbing, some of us are digging, we're climbing through the dirt, we're buried alive, our authenticity has been buried. The fire is kept alive through being pressurized under experience. And so Capricorn, to me, it is the reason to fucking move. That's what the tension is. Because if you don't, you're going to suffocate. So better to die trying. 
but you don't really have a place in this world to put that tension, so you hold it within yourself. You don't know what it is, and you keep doing shit in the world to try and placate that demon, that God, that energy. <clears throat> sublimate and you sacrifice yourself in the process that's that square to Aries from Capricorn so how do you balance all the shit you can't even quantify with just being and trying to see the spark of potential and gift that that is So I'm climbing right now through the soil. I was buried under the edifice of whatever I built, whatever time built, whatever Saturn formed. I'm climbing through that to reach the freedom, to reach the fresh air, to reach new horizons. That's Aquarius to me. That is... Uh, what Uranus represents. Without that fresh air, the fire can't grow, you know. You need that spark from Aquarius to Aries to really set spirit and form, at least I do. So Gemini Moon here, conjunct Jupiter, eighth house. Opposing Neptune. So I dig into the symbology. I get caught in the echoes until I play them out. <clears throat> and then I climb back out. But it's a seven of pentacles. It's never ending. It is process's result. So do I settle on results? You know, I have to transform. Well, I don't have to, I am. It's not <laughs> an option, I guess, for anyone, really. We just transform in <clears throat> less optimal ways. Capricorn is death and rebirth for Gemini. Understanding the systemization works to a point, then it has to be thrown because the only static is the ever flowing dynamic. Therefore, the beliefs of your conviction and values should be questioned, or you'll be constrained to that mountain. You may be glorious with all your knowledge and your conviction, but what does that bring you at the end? You know? Who knows for themselves? So the only thing you can do is really try and find what feeds the fire here now in this world without being systemized by the replicated trauma loops which captivate, hold the belief, the fire that wants to roam free in this world to the conviction of the tribal state, the collective draw, the wound which needs healing through life. You know, when you work out, you're um, ripping your muscle fibers, essentially, and they're rebuilding themselves. They're growing back together, and when they grow back together, they get a little bigger. <clears throat> when you're accumulating experience, you're ripping apart and you're building back together. When you die, you're ripping apart and you're reborn. And you die many times in life.
I'm more afraid of life than death. And I use the word afraid because it's the only word we have to give the proper type of meaning. But there's many ways to say it. Time and field is process. Awareness is growing through experience. You need ignorance to learn. So, So the Cancer full moon. There's a lot of aspects happening. Venus and Mars in play. Everything's in play. But how are you in play? That's the important part. I'm trying to shake system. I can't relate with people unless it's through systems. <laughs> I can't relate with myself unless it's through identifying patterns. Only to realize it's something that I've already needed to release now I have the words for the feeling and I can strange I just know that as soon as I feel I'm aware of it as a truth it will change so I just go with the flow that's why getting into life like an authentic flow is important for me I don't want to become possessed by edifice of some kind of objective truth that another needs in order for me to be in their world. And that includes this world. So how do I use the material of this world to construct an individual expression of authenticity that the world needs? The nature of this world in a systemized, programmed, bullshit world that wants to devour itself where Saturn possessed the polis because it's process. How do I stay connected to that without um, being fucking, what's the word? Not possessed. Held in its influence, in its resonance. The only way is to find the purity of the self, to find the authenticity of the unknown, to go off the path. And the only way for that is individual to you. What are your loops? What are your patterns? What holds you? What shadows need to be expressed? How do you live those out optimally? How do you make mistakes wise in the process? Knowing you need to learn. You don't have to teach anyone else. You just have to learn to release. And anything in resonance with you will find that spirit. Because it's contagious. Awareness is contagious. That's why technology is here now. We're so connected, you know, yet so divided because we're divided within. Medusa's stare is in us. So we need a meeting ground. We need the fucking consensus reality. So when so many people are possessed by their beliefs, but no one believes in themselves, they just fall into the possession of whatever's easiest. And so I'm trying to figure out what is the possession of the authentic. How do you actually maintain relation to that 
while being in this place. Does it need to be? Am I overthinking it? That's why I just need to figure it out <laughs> and fall into it. But you can't fall into it trying to figure it out. So there is Wu Wei. That's the catch. That's the art, the reason. If you want to limit it to form. To release icon to become creation. This, I feel, is what the uh, Cancer Full Moon is about for me. If you want to uh, understand your self through this language of astrology. You can begin learning online, just start Googling stuff. I feel evolutionary astrology is the best at this time. And when I say best, it's just very comprehensive from a micro to macro perspective. If you want to understand yourself in this world, then that's the language. If you want a reading from me, then just go to my website and schedule one. All right, well, I hope you're having a great uh, end of 2023. So thanks for watching, listening, and being...